could the next pandemic be prevented with shit? To understand how this could work, I looked in a place you might not expect, Houston, Texas. And what I found was that this city of more than 2 million poopers has developed a recipe for catching the next pandemic before it happens. During COVID, Houston was a key pioneer of what's called wastewater surveillance. So I went to check it out and I got to see one of the country's most comprehensive poop water monitoring programs. Now we won't show you exactly where that process begins. We'll leave that to your imagination. But early in the pandemic, scientists learned that people infected with COVID shed the virus through their feces, flushing it down the drain. Here, you can see officials sampling wastewater at one of Houston's 39 treatment plants. That's more plants than New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago combined. Walid Samarna with Houston Public Works told me that overall, they process more than 250 million gallons of water per day. From there, the sample is transported to a lab where scientists can deduce exactly how much virus is contained in the sewage. The data is then uploaded to a website where Houstonians can monitor COVID trends in their neighborhoods, whether that be new outbreaks or decline in cases, and it's proved to be an invaluable resource for the city as a whole. With its data, Houston has been able to target the communities most impacted by outbreaks, with things like vaccination campaigns and other public health mitigation efforts. It also helped Houston's hospitals know when to expect a rise in COVID patients so they could prepare hospital beds and other ICU equipment. But it's not just COVID. Because Houston also collects fecal samples from manholes outside of schools, prisons, and assisted living facilities, the city is able to get an extremely detailed picture of how viruses like RSV and the flu pop up. And with the right investments and support, experts tell me this technology could be used to catch the next COVID, or what epidemiologists call pathogen X. So imagine this, we're back in late 2019 and wastewater plants from the largest cities to the smallest counties are doing what Houston is doing right now. We quickly see when and where the first COVID cases cropped up. All of this is to say, COVID has shown us the power of wastewater surveillance. Let's not flush it away. If you're like me and find the study of poop water fascinating, or you'd like to go deeper into the sewer surveillance, you can read my full report at motherjones.com.